All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode eight, the final episode of season one, and I am in the Mitsubishi Evo 8 MR. Let's get into it. First, we all know the EVO lineup. We all know what they're known for. The all-wheel drive monsters created by Mitsubishi. This one is the MR. There's so many different variations of the EVO 8, and I've been like doing my own research and trying to, you know, learn more about these cars. And there's honestly so many, from the RS to the GSR to this one, which is the MR. So the MR, what it means, it really, well, it translates to Mitsubishi Racing. So how, what, how does this differentiate the MR versus just a standard um, Evo 8. Little things like has some carbon fiber accents in the interior, the seats are different, the roof is made out of aluminum, and this one, this is a 2004, so it has the revised limited slip diff, and we're about to put that to the test today because we're on some windy roads where this thing should take the cake, no problems. Uh, we got some major corner right here. I need to test this out. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, so I want to get into more of the power and the general feel of the Evo. I've honestly, of all the cars that I've driven, this car is so probably one of the comfiest that I've been in. I don't know if it's just the seats or just the the general design of the car but I feel very at home in this thing and then the, the power wise let's talk about the power this car doesn't put out an insane number but let me tell you you will have enough power to have tons of fun and still have a practical and functioning car we're on a straight let's give this a test boost kicks in right there The Evolution lineup, if you didn't know, the majority of them come with the same motor, which is the 4G63, which is what is in this Evo 8. So they all come with the 4G63, except for the Evo 10. But we're talking about the Evo 8, so let's get into that. What is the 4G63? The 4G63 is a two liter, four cylinder, turbo, all wheel drive packed into this car. Honestly, I the only thing that I can call the Evo 8 or the Evo lineup is just they're fun, they're just fun sedans, right? That, that's, that's what they are. So they're forever going to be known as fun sedans to me. Moving on, the look of this specific motor. If you look at this, you may think to yourself, oh, you know what? It's got a very subtle and simple build to it. Well, don't let the looks fool you. This motor is meant to put out a lot of power. It has full forged internals from forged pistons to forged connecting rods and tons of other goodies like Tomei downpipes, Tomei um, exhaust manifold, and to finish the exhaust uh, setup, he has HKS. The rear end is pretty much to finish it off as HKS. Um, HKS air intake, HKS blow-off valve, and forged racing radiator. So this car is meant to put out power, okay? If you don't know how much power the 4G63 put out, they put out around 280 horsepower and around 289 foot pounds of torque. Telling you, you don't need a lot of power to have fun. And this car is the big, big ambassador for that. The one downside of being in the Evo for, you know, the short amount of time that I've been in it, U-turns. The turning radius in the Evo is horrible. If you're an owner of an Evo 8, or I don't know if it's just an Evo 8 thing, but I'm telling you, the turning radius in this thing, if you're trying to bust a U-turn somewhere on a tight road, have fun. You're probably gonna have to do like a couple, you know, turns. But other than that, no complaints. This thing feels great. Now we have another stretch right here. Let's go on the straight. Boost kicks in right there. Like I tell you, it's not a crazy in your face type of power, but it's enough this car functions well it it's it has a multi you know it's multi-purpose that that's that's the best way for me to describe it it's a sedan so it's good enough for a family car it's good enough for grocery getting and for an everyday car if you know 
my, my thing is if you're trying to have fun in a car but still have a functioning car, I mean, this is going to be the car for you. You have enough power, it's all-wheel drive, and it handles like a dream. And like I tell you, I'm telling you, you can go about your everyday lives using this car. You want to talk about an athletic looking car? Well, here's the Evo 8. By far, one of the best evolution design in my opinion. I've talked about this a lot on our previous episodes and it's that when you're driving in a different car, you look in your rearview mirror and you see a car approaching you in that right there, that specific moment when you look at the car and you tell yourself, wow, that is a good looking car. Well, that's what this car does to me. When I see this car pull up behind me, I can tell at how aggressive it looks. And I think it helps by the way that this car is designed. The front nose section, I feel like is a very iconic and very, it's a staple to the Evo lineup. All right, so with this, when you're looking at this car, yes, it's an Evo 8, but it has a lot of Evo 9 components. The front and rear bumper, it's off of an Evo 9. The wheels is from an Evo 9. The front lip has the rally art, which completes the whole look of the car. But don't let me stop there. He also has the Monster Racing carbon fiber hood, which is designed to kind of mimic the uh, OEM style. But then again, it is carbon fiber and it looks phenomenal on the Evo 8. I wanna talk a little bit more about the details with this specific Evo 8. Normally, I'm not a huge carbon fiber hood person, but I love how it's accented with the air duct as well. These are also carbon fiber, which in my opinion, looks good, it completes it. And to top it all off is the tinted headlights, which I feel like give it that very sinister look when it's pulling up behind you, like I was talking about earlier. To complete the overall look of the car, you gotta take a look at the car from all angles, right? Now we're in the rear end, and the rear end doesn't disappoint me. Cause like I said, looking at a rearview mirror, looks aggressive, the rear end's gotta complement the front too, right? Well, it does an awesome job at that. So the MR, the difference between the MR and the other different, the plenty of other variations of the Evo is the fact that these have the smoked um, housing for the taillights. And it looks, it just gives it a little bit more depth when you're looking at it, passing by you or in a parking lot. They look good for sure. Um, another thing too is a spoiler, very iconic Evo spoiler. And like I said from the beginning, you can tell the reels from the fake. Just look at them really, really closely. And uh, I don't know what else to say about the rear end of this car because it just looks good. Like I said, here's the HKS exhaust and all around beautiful car. Yes. Another thing to note about the roof of the MR, it's actually made out of aluminum. Now the comfort part. So we gotta talk about the interior. Again, very important when you're getting a car or I'm sure the majority of you guys wanna know how it feels to sit in the Evo 8. So this one is the Evo MR. So what's the difference between the Evo MR and the rest of them? Well, not a lot of crazy things, mainly. Uh, it has a lot of carbon fiber accents, like as you can see right here. Uh, the center console uh, uh, right here, it's actually been uh, rewrapped or it's been wrapped by the owner. So to kind of complete it, because to be honest with you, to have carbon fiber accents, you kind of need to have it everywhere else, you know? So I think what the owner did with the center console completes the overall look. So the steering wheel, it's a, the rewrapped version of the original. It's the original wheel, but it's rewrapped. So it feels great too. And everything else in this car is so very well maintained. Normally when you get into a car around this age, you'll start seeing rips, you'll start seeing wears. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of wear in here, but it's acceptable. It's what happens when you actually drive a car. This car is not a car that normally sits. He takes this car out on weekends and the majority of the days when he can take it out. This seats, let's talk about the seats. I talked about it a little bit during our test drive is, is how comfortable they are. These are Recaro stock Evo seats, but since it's an MR, normally they would come just a standard cloth, but in the MR they come suede. Definitely a nice touch. So if you're out to get an Evo, try and find the MR. Same as the rear seats. Hey, I don't know, just Mitsubishi knew what they were doing. They have the perfect recipe. Four cylinder, all wheel drive turbo, and a sedan with suede seats, carbon fiber bits. What more could you ask for, honestly? Yes, all the yeses in the world. I think some of you might have already picked up on it. Evo 8, episode eight, final episode of season one. 
Well, because we wanted it to be something special. Like, we did RX-7 for episode 7. Of course, 8. We got to go with an Evo 8, right? And the majority of you guys have been asking for us to do an Evo. So here it is. We are delivering it. And I hope you guys are enjoying it because I definitely am because I get to drive all these cool cars because of you guys. Um, it's, it's a bit of a bittersweet thing right now because it's the end of season 1. But many more to come. Stay tuned for updates. My gosh, man. With duffels in my hands. I did half a zen. 13 hours till I land. Had me like a light, babe. Like a light, babe. Like a light, babe. Slept for a fight, babe. For the night, babe. 767, man. This shit got double bedroom, man. I still got scores to settle, man. I cracked down a block. Pay the right, yeah. Cut the lights, yeah. Pay the price, yeah. Get this thing is sweet. Ready, like 